Hello welcome to Decent Tea and see your channel for educational tutorials. I'm Jean Marie, today we are going to see different types of doors part 1. What is a door in building construction? A door is an openable barrier secured in the wall opening. Doors commonly used in construction are classified into many broad categories. The classification can be referred to. First group is based on the arrangement of components. Doors can be classified into 1. Battened and ledge door. It is formed of vertical boards known as battens, which are usually fixed together by horizontal supports known as ledges. This is the simplest type of door, especially for small openings. 2. Battened, ledged, and braced doors. This is the door made of vertical battens joined together by horizontal ledges, and having inclined braces between ledges to give more strength and rigidity. 3. Battened, ledged and framed doors, it is an improved form of the simple battened and ledged door in which the framework for the shutter is provided in the form of two verticals, known as styles. 4. Battened, ledged, braced, and framed doors, this door consists of two styles, three ledgers, and two braces. It is provided with braces which run diagonally between ledges, to increase the strength, durability, and for giving more good appearance of that door. Second group is based on the methods and manner of construction, doors can be classified into 1. Framed and panel doors, they consist of a framework of vertical members, styles, and horizontal ones, rails which are grooved along inner edges of the frame to receive the panels. The panels are made of timber, plywood, iron sheets, or even glasses. This door can have one panel, two panels, three panels, or multiple panels. They are the mostly used doors in all types of buildings. They are strong, and give better appearance. These types of doors have the following features and characteristics. The styles are continuous from top to the bottom. They are in single piece. Various rails are joined to the styles at both ends. Top rails, bottom rails, are connected to the styles. The bottom and lock rails are made wider than top rails. The entire frame is grooved on all the inside faces to receive the panels. The minimum width of the styles will be kept 100 mm. 2. Glazed doors, or sash doors, these doors are provided where additional light is required to be admitted in the room through the door, or where it is required to look to the adjacent room from the interior. Such doors are commonly used in residential and public buildings, such as hospitals, schools, libraries, etc. These doors may be either fully glazed or they may be partly glazed, and partly paneled. When we use partly framed doors and partly glazed, the glass panels must be provided at elevated level from the floor. Partially glazed doors are sometimes provided with styles, which gradually diminishes at the lock rail. This is to improve the appearance, and to permit more are for the glazed panels. 3. Flush doors They consist of solid skeleton covered on both sides with plywood, or veneers. This skeleton is made by vertical members, styles, and rails to connect, join, those vertical members. They appear as flush and jointless surfaces. They are used for residential as well as public and commercial buildings. These days have the following advantages. They present pleasing appearance. They are simple in their construction. They are not expensive. They have better strength. They have greater durability. 4. Louver doors or Venetian doors. Louver doors have louvers. They permit free ventilation through them, and at the same time, they maintain the privacy of the room. These doors are used for latrines and bathrooms of residential and public buildings. These doors may either be louvered to the full height, or they may be partly louvered and partly paneled. Louvers are ranges at such an inclination that they permit the passage of air through them. Louvers may be fixed or movable. Third group is based on the working operations. Doors can be classified into 1. 
revolving doors. These doors consist of a centrally placed mullion to which four radiating shutters are attached. The mullion or vertical member is supported at the bottom, and its rotation is without any friction or noise. These shutters may be fully glazed, fully paneled, or partly glazed and partly paneled. These doors allow the entrance of one person and exit of the other person at the same time. Such doors are provided in public buildings such as libraries, museums, supermarkets, banks, where there are constant visitors. 2. Sliding doors. In this type of door, the shutter slides on the sides with the help of runners and guide rails. The door may have one sliding shutter, two shutters, or even three shutters depending upon the size of the opening and the space available on sides for sliding. 3. Swing doors. A swing door has its leaf, shutter, attached to the frame by means of special double action spring hinge, so that the shutter can move both inward and outward. When the door is to be used, it has to be slightly pushed to make the action of spring. This door is always kept in closed position. The return of the shutter is with force. 4. Collapsible steel doors. The shutter operates between two iron rails of T-shape, one fixed to the floor, and other to the lintel. This door is provided with handles, locking arrangements, and stoppers. The door is fabricated from vertical double channels joined together with the hollows on the inside, so that a vertical gap is created. Such doors are used in workshops go-downs, public buildings, etc. for increasing safety and protection to property. The door neither requires hinges for opening and closing, nor any frame for hanging them. 5. Rolling steel shutter door. This door consists of a frame, a drum, and a shutter of thin steel plates, known as plates, interlocked together. The frame has steel guides on the sides in which the shutter moves. It has a horizontal shaft and spring provided in the drum, which make possible to open and close the door by pushing or pulling. These doors are commonly used for garages, go-downs, workshops, front show windows. 6. Dot folding doors. This is a door made by many leaves, shutters, such that some leaves are supported on the neighboring leaves. It is as if those leaves become the frame for other leaves. In more usual way, the independent shutters are fixed on the frame of the door. But for this door, only one leaf is fixed on the frame, and the remaining ones are fixed in other leaves.